guys, I think this is episode 23 of Haunting Ground, Clock Tower 4. I'm actually going to turn off the fan so you guys can hear me more. Um, so, this is what happened. I kind of saved it after I beat Lorenzo because I didn't want to do it over again. And I erased the last video where I did beat him because... It was just a messy video, but I'll show you what happened. Um, so basically, in here, right? Well, we put layer of magnesia down, and that's how he dies. He just like, and he falls in here, and he's like falling back, like Fiona, and like stuff like that. And so, and then we beat him, and this is where we are now. Then we go out here. P.S. This will probably be the last video of Honey Ground. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? It felt like a tremor. I should crouch down during large tremors so I don't get hurt. Alright. Oh, no! So the statue is gonna fall on you like a shiznick. Oh. And then you're gonna wanna like press keep pressing square whatever and put it back up. Oh my god, see how hurry and I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. I failed you all. Yep. Okay. So, we're going to restart that again and hopefully do it better this time. <gasps> anyway. I like how this last episode is like really clear on the screen. Like, I don't know if you noticed that. There's my window. <laughs> my arm. Ha 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 ha. I'm in my bedroom. This is where I record. Okay. Screen was glitchy out for a second. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? you be them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, snap. Come on, girl. You can do this. You can do this. Okay, you did it. Okay, now you're going to want to go in here. It doesn't really matter if you fall or not because you already did that task of putting the statue back up. They so got here. And then cutscene.
this time, you really are dead, you bastard. Okay. So, these are comments from Fiona. It's not Huey's comments because, like, I'm not in hard mode, but I might play in hard mode sometime later on in the future. Once I forget how to do everything. <laughs> Where am I? I was in a car with my parents and I, it's no good. Everything seems so fuzzy. I guess she is one of the maids working here. She's so beautiful, almost too beautiful. It seems unnatural. It feels almost like it was custom tailored to fit me. It really clings to my shape quite nicely, although it feels a little tight in the chest area. I have to get away, but where to? So this machine is used to engrave letters into these plate things. The only question is, why build a machine for this sole purpose? What do the plates do? My parents are dead? Is It has to be a lie, but it's all, all just a dream. Or maybe am I just in shock or something? That has to be it. It just has to be. Poor Pooch, you really look hurt. I hope you're alright. Hopefully, you'll have enough strength to run away if someone comes after us. Huey! Oh, thank goodness. I'm not alone with you by my side. I'm not alone anymore. Now let's get out of this place. The both of us. Azos, I've never been here. I've never been heard of it. But it looks like someone's trying to help me out of this nightmare. I can't believe the whole balcony just collapsed. This castle must be older than I initially thought. I'd better watch my step from here on out. I wonder where this, this suspension bridge used to lead to. Perhaps a way out? Maybe there will be some way to trace it. Maybe it will lead me out of this godforsaken place. Those big eyes. He almost looked like a child of sorts. The size of a giant and the mind of a child. You should be pitied, not hated. I guess I shouldn't have reacted as I did. Not enough. Something I've got, or rather, something inside of me. She needs it, and so she needs me to get it. Out of my body? This door is different from the others. There is some sort of design etched into it. This has to mean something. It's that weird maid again. She keeps staring at herself in the mirror like she hates herself or something. I can't see why. Her skin, her eyes, her body, they all look fine to me. Oh well, blame society, I guess. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Not only am I stuck in this creepy castle, but now I have been shut in some place that isn't even on a map. I have a bad feeling about this. The room on the other side seems to have been designed as a symmetrical match to this one. However, there is something different about that room. Something doesn't feel right. Huey has got wind of something again. I'm going to say that his hair standing on end isn't a good sign. Maybe I should send him to scout ahead first. What? Not even that stopped her? What is she, the maid from hell? Come on, she has to have some kind of weakness, but what can it be? I guess I'm safe. Why is it always like this? Why must I kill just to keep myself alive? I hate this place. I really do. A synthesizer? It's been placed in this dark and spooky hallway, but it looks like some weird device you'd see a mad scientist use. God, I miss home. Now even that Ricardo is telling me I should stay in the castle, but I'm not stupid. I know the longer I stay here, the greater my chances are of getting killed. A purifier? Well, the fact that the room was bolted shut has to mean that someone was serious about keeping people out of this room. Maybe there is something here. Maybe something important. An extractor? I know this will make me sound stupid, but maybe it's to extract things. I'll just push the idea that they're using it to extract something that from that woman in that capsule out of my head for now. Huh? What was that sound? Wait a second, it sounds like... Huey! They will kill Huey if they find him. I've got to do something. Maybe I can distract Ricardo somehow and keep Huey safe. What happened? The last thing I remember was passing out in the forest. 
Did that freak Ricardo do something to me while I was asleep? And what is this gown that I am wearing? Somebody tell me what happened. Magisterium? More nonsensical words. I have no idea what this does either, but knowing how things have been going, I'll probably need this for something, so I'd better check around. I guess it had to end this way. Come on, Fiona. It's not like you aren't used to this by now. Time to get moving. I have to get out of here. Nice candlestick. No idea what it's for, but common sense would suggest that I probably need to light it somehow. Lorenzo, that voice. He was the only one who I thought was really on my side. I thought he was trying to help me. Why? Why is he doing this? The demonster has started moving. No human could survive a direct attack from that. I have to be careful. The symbol on this door. I have definitely seen it somewhere before. Oh, damn. Where was it? I can't remember anymore. What is going on? The last time I entered this room, it was connected to a different location. Is the whole mansion transforming or something? Lorenzo's face looks just like my father's. And then to watch him transform from an old man to someone less than half his age, what is going on here? The wood chips here should be enough for Huey to track down the scent of whatever has inserted into the groove before. He just kept on laughing, laughing as if he was a man that had nothing to fear, not even death. But no one could fall for that far and live, could they? I don't know how I know, but I can just feel it. Lorenzo is gone. I am finally safe now. This long nightmare is over. Okay. So we have that just infos. Um, I still, I didn't use everything like I should have. I have antimony powder, lavender, obsidian choker, magnesia, chamomile, chicken jerky, mundus, nigrid, banana, banana, I don't know, jade choker, inquisitor, earrings, metal boots, refined antimony, onion, beef jerky, sedadio, or medium, recreatio, ball, queen, sweeping stone, Alchemist earrings, carbo go, and antimony tube and magna esca. And I still have that and that and that. So I guess let's go. You feel a mystical power flowing on throughout the floor. Open the door? Sure, why not? Stupid glitchiness.
is in the way. Um, yeah. That's the end of this series. I really like the game. The ending that I got is A. I forgot the name of the ending, but it was ending A. So, yeah, it was Fortis Fortuna Jova. I don't know. Five hours. 26 minutes and 17 seconds, dog level was A, panic, I panicked three times in total, items, I only gained like half of what was in the, um, yeah, critical Huey injury is zero, enemies defeated three, What I got. Secret room has been added to the tile menu. Hard mode has been added to the tile menu. You can now change costumes in that game. Search any chest mid game to switch to an available alternate costume. Stamp on flight key is Alchemia. Yeah. So that's saved. This has been the end of Hind Ground Clock Tower 4. I finally got through it on my own without anyone watching. This was like the first time, like not the first time that I played it, but like the first time that I got through this without anyone watching, like I said. So I have, I, I, I mean I was scared for like Ricardo's part because I didn't make sure where I was going. I had to like study on where I was going to go, but I really knew uh, the bulletuses and Daniela's areas, but I like the game. I'll probably play it in hard mode again and have another secret room type episode. So yeah, this has been Stray Love. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and rate because I do make new videos every day, twice a day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.